you must not see your menses every month. Yes, you heard me. You must not menstruate every month. Hello, welcome to my page. My name is Ifechuku Prudenciana Okachuku. I'm a registered nurse, a midwife, and a family planning provider living in the UK. Many women are always worried. Why am I not menstruating every month? Why do I measure twice in a month? In this video, I will tell you why you are not menstruating every month and why you are menstruating twice in a month. So it is not a must a woman will menstruate every month. I will quickly take us through the four phases of menstrual cycle. The first one is follicular phase, the ovulatory phase, the little phase, and the menstruation. Now, for the first one, the follicular phase, by the name follicles, here there is activation of gonadotrophin releasing hormone by the brain. Once the brain activates the gonadotrophin releasing hormone, it will stimulate the production of gonadotrophin hormone. This gonadotrophin hormone will now act on the anterior pituitary gland to start producing follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. It is this follicle stimulating hormone that will now act on the follicles. At this point, we will have about 20 to 30 follicles, but at the end, only one will be dominant, which will be the one that will rupture and release the egg. So, when there is production of follicle stimulating hormone on the follicles, it will increase the production of estrogen on these follicles. And once the estrogen level is high, it will now give signal to the brain to stop producing follicle stimulating hormone. At this point, only one follicle will be dominant, others will start degenerating. Once there is a stoppage in the production of follicle stimulating hormone, there will be activation of the luteinizing hormone. This luteinizing hormone will now be activated to act on the dominant follicle with the high level of progesterone. So the utilizing hormone will now start producing progesterone, which will act on the already dominant follicle. So the increase in the production of luteinizing hormone with progesterone on this dominant follicle will now make the the follicle to increase more in size, ripe and now ruptures. The rupture and the release of the egg from the ovary is called ovulation, that is the ovulatory phase. Now, after ovulation, it is expected that there will be implantation. If implantation occurs, the level of progesterone and the estrogen will still be high to maintain the pregnancy to about 10 weeks. However, if implantation doesn't occur, the remnants of the egg that was released will now undergo transformation and produce what we call Corpus lithium. This corpus lithium is called the yellow body, and this is little phase. At this point, the inner lining of the endometrium, that is the womb, is thick because it's expected to have a baby, but implantation didn't occur. So, at this point, 
the inner lining, the upper inner lining of the uterus will now start shedding off. The shedding off of the inner lining of the uterus is called menstruation and another cycle begins. So what I'm trying to tell you is that menstruation is not a monthly thing, it's a cycle. So until a cycle is complete, another one will not begin. So that is why some people menstruate twice in a month. Some people menstruate only once in a month. Some people menstruate once in two months. So depending on your cycle, that will now tell you whether you'll be menstruating once in a month, twice in a month, or once in two months. Let me give you an example on the board. So now, let's assume that this is a cycle, this is a cycle, and this is a cycle. This is a cycle A, cycle B, and cycle C. This is a cycle A with 21 days cycle, cycle B with 27 days cycle, and cycle C with 35 days cycle. When you look at these cycles now, this is smaller than this and this is smaller than this now for a woman who is 21 days cycle it means that it will take her just three weeks for this cycle to be completed just three weeks 21 days it will take her three weeks for this cycle to be completed and for this person, it will take her 27 day, 27 days for her cycle to be completed, and these 35 days. What I'm trying to say is this: for this person now that has 21 days menstrual cycle length, it means she will be menstruating every three weeks. So, in other words, she'll be menstruating twice a month. Because it takes her cycle to complete within three weeks. For this person, it takes her cycle to complete every four weeks. So, in other words, she will be menstruating once in a month. So this person will be menstruating once in a month. And for this person whose cycle is 35 days cycle, this cycle C is very big. In other words, it will be taking this person five weeks to complete a particular cycle. And what it means is that she will be menstruating once in two months let's assume this person now saw her menses last on the first of august or on the second of august and by 22nd let's say second of august by 23rd another menses started so, in other words, she'll be menstruating twice in a month. This person, once in one month. But for a person who has that five days cycle, she'll be menstruating once in two months. Let's assume that she saw her last menses on 30th of August. Let's assume that
Let's assume she saw her, her, her menses 30th of August. It means that for a, for her cycle to complete, she will see her menses again on the 2nd of October. This is why I said that menstruation is a cycle, not a monthly stuff. So it is not a must. You will see your menses every month. So know your cycle, know how many days your menstrual cycle length is. Then you will know if you'll be expecting to see your menses every month or twice a month or once in two months. Know your cycle and know when to menstruate and how long it will take your menses and your cycle to occur. If you found this video useful and you would like to have more content like this, please hit the follow button and don't forget to like, comment, share and follow me on all my social media handles and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until I see you again in my next video, please do take care of yourself and drink plenty of water.